I call Merrimah Fox. Nakwe. Ehikama, tēnā koutou. Well, Fanu, I greet you. It's as if the hour itself has flown right into Parliament today. Not only here in the gallery, overflowing into the uh, foyer outside, into uh, the, uh, the big room with the great big TV, which I'm not sure what it's called. <laughs> But I greet you. Tēnā koutou. Well, that's just about my time up, but I do have a speech. <laughs> I want to talk about the awa. Te awa tupua, which forms an indivisible whole from the mountains to the sea. I acknowledge the inalienable interconnection between the iwi and the hapu of Whanganui and the Whanganui River. I practice my whangas. E rere kou mai te awa nui nei, mai te kāui maunga ki tangarua. Today we recognise the perseverance, the discipline and the faith of hine ngākau, tama upoko, tūpoho, tama haki, uenuku, the tūpuna rohe groups of the Whanganui iwi. There is a whakatauki amongst the people of the river, Kaua kā e kōrero mō te awa, kōrero ki te awa. Today then I want us to remember and to reflect and to refresh our thoughts with those who have the care, the protection and the management and the use of the Whanganui River in accordance with the kawa and tikanga maintained by the descendants of Ruatipua, Pairangi 
and how new ya papa. Te Kuya Peti was one of the many who recalled the river of their childhood at Kai, I'll get it right, at Kai Faiki. She said she could swim before she could walk. From morning till night, we would swim and learn about ourselves and surrounding environment. As youngsters, our bodies were developed in the water, limbs were stretched and pulled and we learnt fleetness of body and mind. The river was our playground. The people of the river told the tribunal the teardrops of Ranginui are the source of their being, the, the, <laughs> the artery of their one heart. The awa is a healer, a kapata kai, a highway and a protector. It is the rope that binds all the whānau together from the mountain to the sea. Te taura fidi o Hinenako, the plaited rope of their tipuna, Hinenako. The kōrero was consistent. The river is the beginning. It ties the people together like the umbilical cord of the unborn child. Matu Mare Kura explained to the tribunal, the river is ultimately our mana, our tapu, our ihi, our wehi, all these things make up what the river means to us. It is our life cord, not just because it's water, but because it's sacred water to us. Our people go to the river to cleanse themselves. They go to the river to pray. They go to the river to wash. They go to the river for everything, for everything leads back to the river. And the river in return suffices all our needs. Mr. Speaker, I've taken this time to transverse the power of the Tupuna Awa Whanganui because it is at the heart of this bill. Today, our memories are focused on the original nine trustees of the Whanganui River Māori Trust Board, who in December 1990 brought the Whanganui River claim on behalf of Te Atsi Haunui Apaparani. Their sacrifice and devotion is now recorded in this house and so we mihi to the vision of, hi, of Hikaia Amohia, Ati Tairoa, uh, Rau Matiki Henry, uh, Kevin Amohia, Juana Akati, Akapita, Te Turi Ranganui, Brendan Puketapu, Michael Pōtaka, John Maihi and Rangipo Metekin. In doing so, we honour the generations of inequities, of inquiries, of petitions, court cases dating back to 1873, who brought Te Awa Tupua into this house. And after the hearings at the Marae up and down the river in 1998, the tribunal declared on page 335, you can look it up, contrary to some popular opinions, New Zealand was not colonised on the basis that rivers were publicly owned. The right of ownership was based on universal principles of law, principles guaranteed in the Treaty of Waitangi. Now, I know my time is running short, so I'm going to cut straight to the words of the Kuya Piti. To my sorrow, my own children in Mukapuna have not grown up in this environment, but what we had as children is no longer there. What we thought was unchangeable and immutable, the river, has undergone changes which we never dreamt of. Our beautiful, safe swimming places have all gone. Because so much of the water was taken away and therefore made, it made it inhospitable for the fish life to live. It was not uncommon for us to see dead fish floating down the river. Where once stood strong trees all along the river, we now have very serious erosions on our bank. Where once the birds were plentiful and we could recognise their cries or squawks, we hardly see them at all now. Where once we had crystal clear water flowing up and down our marae, this is now a very rare occurrence. And I finish with this. In fact, the river is filthy, dirty, most all of the time. That is our friend, Tupuna. Our whanau has been desecrated by bad farming practices. Once we had a healthy waterway, we now have a sick river. What you have returned to you 
is not what was taken, but I acknowledge the strength of your people to restore it in its own entity. Nā reira, kai te mihi atu ki a koutou, kua hui nei tēnei rangi, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Kia ora mai tātou katoa.